Hello YouTube friends. I want to make with you today this quilt block which I'm going to turn into a pincushion. Somebody on uh, in the comments asked me about the pincushion that I found in the big draw tidy out and it's this design so I thought I'll make a few and I'll show you how to make them as I'm going along. So it's not a pincushion pattern it's, uh, it's a quilt block. I'm going to show you how we make this quilt block now. Okay, so what we need then is a six inch square of fabric and I've got out all my dots. You might remember this is the sashing fabric from the red quilt. And you need, uh, so one six inch square of fabric and then four inch wide strips that are, now the, the length of them, you need them to be at least as long as from corner to corner. And so what is that? I haven't measured it. I just cut it off from a piece of fabric I had. So that's uh, nine inches. So yeah, okay, so let's say it's got to be at least nine inches um, long and an inch wide. Okay then, so we'll put all those to one side for now. And the first thing we're gonna do is cut this six inch square corner to corner on the diagonal okay so it looks like that now this stuff has actually got an, a right side and a wrong side so um, just make sure yeah that's the right side so what we're going to do now then is stitch this here a quarter of an inch to that side there. Now we have to be really careful when we're stitching on the diagonal because this is an unstable, this is now quite unstable. However, if we're careful it'll all be fine. So we'll go to the sewing machine and do that. So before we start stitching I just want to show you that I've got my quarter inch foot on my machine here. Usually when I'm sewing I have this foot on, which is just an ordinary uh, presser foot. But for this accuracy, I've got this foot that is a proper quarter inch foot. And I'll try and show you, I don't know quite how I'm going to angle the camera, but I'll try and show you why that's important. So I'm going to try and do this around the camera. I'm not sure how this will work, but for this first edge, that's what I'm going to do. So let's get those threads out of the way. So you can see, I hope you can see, I might even zoom in. What do you think? Let's try that. There we go. So I've got my right sides together here. I'm going to stitch this with this lovely quarter inch seam. With this particular quilt block, accuracy is really important. Quite a lot of the time you'll hear me talk about winging it or just, you know, oh, that'll do. But not for this block. This has got to be nice and accurate. So I use a little thread catcher. That's a bit of a wide thread catcher at the end of the run so that, let's go back out again, so that I don't have, um, I don't have loads of threads uh, coming out of this end here. So then I've got the iron set up next to me. So that I don't have to even get out of my sewing chair. I'm going to set that seam there, like so. And then I'm going to roll that seam back and press that so that the pink edge is up towards the white. Normally we would we would iron to the dark side, but I'm going to I want that pink edge to be up there. Okay, I'm going to bring you back over here now. Okay, so that's my first bit done. So then the 
second half of the square that we cut off at a triangle, I'm going to put this now right sides together here. Now, I am going to talk about accuracy a lot with this block. And so the way that we can ensure that this is accurate and it's not going to be off at this end or this end, you can see, can't you, that that quarter inch is the same on both sides of the right sides together. You know, the wrong side there is showing me a quarter inch there and there. I'll stitch this one on then. I'll make that thread catcher a bit smaller, I think. Making sure that that's working beautifully. Let's take that thread catcher off and cut it in half. That's all it needs to be. And with that quarter inch foot, it means that my seam is a lovely, lovely quarter inch. So I'm going to press that again, exactly the same way as before. Set the seam. And then I'm going to press that pink edge in towards the white so that what actually happens is, let's show you. This was an inch wide. That's a quarter of an inch and that's a quarter of an inch. So it's actually, you can't see the white at all of the middle strip. It just makes everything so much neater if you do the seams properly at the beginning. So just give that another press there and then we'll go back over to the overhead and I'll show you what we're going to do there next. I think you can probably guess what we're going to do next. We're going to go corner to corner with the ruler. And where's that in half? Take another one of our inch strips, get the right way around, and we're going to put that right sides together there and do exactly the same as we've just done. So I'll do that and I'll quickly uh, iron and uh, sew and press all of that and I'll come back to you in a minute. So I've sewn that one on in exactly the same way and pressed the fabric towards the centre. And now we need to sew this one onto here. Let's go out a little tiny bit. There we go. So this needs to line up perfectly with this one. You know, we don't want it to be over here somewhere, exaggerating it a little bit. So the, the clue that we used last time works the same. Looking at here to see that the quarter inch uh, is equal on both sides. But this time we can also look to see that these two line up so that when you open it up you can see that they line up beautifully and I usually do also have a little check here to see that they line up as well. Now if you want to you can put a little pin in there. Um, I don't because I'm going to sew it straight away but if you wanted to put a pin in there's no reason why you shouldn't. <laughs> So it looks like that on the front. It's a tiny hair out there, but don't worry. It looks like that on the back. It's actually back to being a six inch square again. And the next cut we're going to make then is through all of the middle here. Now, it's really easy to find this middle because it's exactly three inches. So we're going to line the ruler up with three inches here and three inches here. And that should make take us right through the centre of that cross, and it does. So we're going to cut that now. And the next thing we're going to do then, these need to be, these can be a little bit shorter because they're those are going on the diagonal, but these are going on the on the just up and down, so they can be a bit smaller. But I tend to cut them all the same. You can just it's only a tiny bit of waste. And so the next thing we're going to do then is sew those two on. So I, I'll go ahead and do that then. 
So now it looks like this. We've got that one on there. This one I'm going to just cut off a little bit like so. And then the final cut is through quite a lot of layers because on the back you can see all those seams all pressed neatly inwards. So the last cut we're going to do then is again, we're looking carefully at where the three inches is here. It goes right through the middle. I'm lining that edge and that edge and that edge up there. Should be perfect. Again, through the middle. And now we're going to put this one in. Okay, we're going to square it up now. Now, inevitably, it's slightly out, a bit out there. But hey ho, you can measure more carefully than me. So we're going to just make all these edges nice and even. At the moment then, I'm also watching that this line and this line go through the centre of these, not a skew whiff like that. I'm exaggerating, you wouldn't do it that way. Okay, let's do that again. Just raise that end off. Okay, through the centres uh, lines here. Get these bits off. Whoops, a daisy. And the last side, making sure that my lines are straight. It's going to go in a tiny squeak there to get that off. Hmm, I'll just squeak that off a bit more actually. It's only a pincushion, Kate. <laughs> Perfect. Okay then, so that's the finished block. And what I'm going to do with it now is get another piece like this and sew all the way round, leaving myself a little gap so that I can stuff it. So I've sewn all the way around the edge. And I've left a space here where I can put the stuffing in. But so as I get nice, sharp, crisp corners, I'm just going to just cut the, the corner off there so that will reduce the bulk there. I'll just do that on every corner. And then we'll turn it inside out, see what it looks like. I've done a little... Um, strengthening stitch here and here so that when I am stuffing it it won't be uh, it won't um, break the stitches won't break okay let's see what it looks like and now we're going to go and give that a really good press and while I'm pressing it I'll make sure that those two edges there are pressed down as well so that they'll be easy to stitch closed once it's stuffed. There we go then, it's all sewn up and there's one more thing left to do. Now, I've got this super strong thread, really, really, really strong thread, and this rather brutal looking long needle. And so what we're going to do now then, now there's at least two people who know what's in this banana. <laughs> I'm going to tip out all these great buttons. Now, there's all sorts of buttons here, but there's one button that is totally perfect for this pin cushion, isn't it? Totally perfect. It couldn't have been more perfect. So I'm going to cut some of this really, really strong sewing thread, because this next thing that's going to happen is, uh, is going to be um, quite hard work. <laughs> I'm going to thread it through this big long needle and then I'm going to tie a really big knot in this because we don't want this to come out. 
So I'm going to tie a really big knot by doing a couple of big knots, okay? Now, the way that I'm going to hide this knot, I'm just going to put it straight through the middle here and then trying to get the exact center on the back. Does that look about right? It does actually. Yeah, it does. I'm going to go all the way through to that side there. Now what I like to do, and I've only just remembered I like to do this, I like to put a little button on the back rather than just have the stitches. So yeah, I've forgotten I like to do that. We're going to have a little button on the back there like so and then this big brutal needle is going to go back through right through to the middle of the pincushion and through this completely superb button back through here again through to the other side this is where you have to aim carefully to get it back through the button again that was more good luck than good management and now we are going to pull because I want this button to pull down and make this into a, a lovely pouch a lovely kind of dimple dimple we'll use that word okay I'm actually pushing the wadding aside a little bit that's good. Really strong cotton, everybody. Really strong cotton. Back through this side here and hoping beyond hope that we've come up. Well, we have come up, but can you see I'm in the same one? So I just want to move that round and get it through there. Excellent. So this button's pretty good, isn't it? Pull it and pull it and pull it and back through the other hole and be back through the center of this if we're lucky actually it doesn't matter we'll just come up to the side of it because now what I want to do is is actually tie this off and the way that I do that because that's fine that's good enough now I mean come on doesn't that look fantastic with that button on I'm just going to do a few over stitches and there is a pin cushion so you have a go let me know if you make one that one's going to be put in the shop along with all the others. Check them out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.